Hi my friends, it's Mr. Daniel here and um, welcome to my shop called Muyu and Muyu means seed in Quechua and I have a special book here for you called If You Plant a Seed from our community library and I'll be reading it to you right now. So, words and paintings are by Kadir Nelson and this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And the spine holds all of it together. So let's begin. If you plant a tomato seed, a carrot seed, and a cabbage seed, in time, with love and care, tomato, carrot, and cabbage, plants will grow. Oh no, 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 no. What is the bunny eating? You're right, it's a big juicy carrot. And what is the mouse eating? A plump and ripe tomato, yum, yum, yum. But wait, there's birds. It's a pigeon, a crow, a blue jay, a cardinal, and this bird, I don't really know what it is, but it's a very cute bird. But what do the bird and the mouse look like? They might look a little surprised, maybe a little scared. Let's see. Look at all the birds. If you plant a seed of selfishness in a very short time, it will grow and grow and grow into a heap of trouble. Look at all the animals. Do the bunny and the mouse look happy? I don't think so. Do the birds look happy? I don't think so either. But if you plant the seed of kindness, what is the mouse doing? It's sharing with the birds. That's very nice. If you plant the seed of kindness, in almost no time at all, The fruits of kindness will grow and grow and grow and do they all look happy this time? They look really happy. I see the bunny and the mouse dancing. I see all the birds dancing in the sky and we have a beautiful garden of sunflowers and tomatoes, and watermelon. And they are very, very sweet. They didn't just feed themselves, they fed their new friends, and the whole community. So, that's the end of the book. So remember to plant a seed of kindness so it can grow and grow for everyone. So thank you for joining me, um, and hope to see you all soon. Bye.